Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Shelter on Base. Yeah. I'm here with Carmen, Therese, Anthony, and special guest Hunter Bishop. Say hi to everyone, Hunter. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Well, uh, we had Hunter, Hunter Pence on last week, so we got to keep Hunters. Yeah, I think Hunter. we're out of Hunters. Uh, could someone get Hunter Strickland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's cool. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, some things to cover. The Giants have a simulation, simulated game tonight on NBC Sports Bay Area. Giants versus Nationals, and it is Johnny Cueto Day. All right. Virtual, virtual Johnny Cueto Day. I'm doing my shimmy. The shimmy is quite there in the video game, but uh, tune in to find out. Oh. Well, you'd be surprised the stuff they put in video games nowadays. <laughs> we're living in the future, man. We're living we in the future. We are. Uh, so we'll start off this week. Uh, we've had 1990 to 2009 uh, Giants, and then Brandon Crawford had cereals. Brandon Crawford B crawl has another B crawl bracket, and this one is near and dear to my heart. He's got rappers. He has his favorite rappers right now. He's got a tournament. I think they're in the third round right now. But uh, not to be outdone by one of his players, new Giants manager Gabe Kapler. Filled out an entire bracket of himself. His final four was Eminem, Nas, Tupac, and the Notorious B.I.G. So you can tell he's a little bit of an older head because he's got a lot of older older rappers on there. Uh, and he's got Tupac over Eminem in the final. He had Eminem winning it all. Uh, but I got to rag on Gabe Kapler a little bit. No Bay Area rappers made it past the second round. I think if Gabe Kapler is going to manage the San Francisco Giants, He's got to uh, have more Bay love. I mean, let's toss it to our guest because I know you're into music. Uh, you are yourself an artist. So what did you think of the bracket? And what did you think of the Skippers picks? Uh, you know, I'm a big advocate for Gabe Kapler. Uh, I think he's a <laughs> great human and a great, a even better coach, or other way around. Great coach, even better person, but. You know, I even shot him a direct message saying how disappointed I was at his <laughs> pick over Rakeem, or he picked Rakeem over Drake, which, I mean, I'd probably get, I mean, as he said to me, he kind of said, or he sent me a, uh, a ma like an online magazine that said Rakeem was the best rapper of all time. And, you know, I guess maybe I'm just not, like, super knowledgeable in the rap game, like the old rap game, but, like, growing <laughs> up on Drake, he's he's definitely one of my favorites. And I'd say he's very popular in uh you know the newer newer age of rap so i gave him a hard time over that but i mean you know it's hard to argue his his top four i'd say those are definitely the top four greatest of all time i mean there's a lot of east coast west coast uh rap rivalry so if you were gonna go Pac or biggie which would you put above each other man that's 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 really hard i you know, I'm a big Conor McGregor fan, so I'd say that I would go with Notorious right, B.I.G. Notorious B -I -G. Uh, but, I mean, there's no I, – I don't think I could pick. They're both, you know, arguably the greatest of all time. It's kind of like the LeBron and Michael Jordan thing. You know, no one's ever going to pick one. So, it's uh, – I, I think they're both great in their own way, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, B, B. Crawl had – he. he he had E40, G Easy, Mac Dre, Andre Nicotina, and Too Short. Those are his Bay Area rappers. Who's your favorite Bay Area rapper? Uh, I, I would say this isn't a popular answer, but I'm a I'm a big G Easy fan. I, I really really like G Easy. I think his stuff is really uh, I think it's different, but I think it you know connects to different types of genres and stuff like that. But he I think he's a really talented rapper. Yeah, I go. personally go with Dre. I think. What about you guys? Yeah, Cole? Dre's good. Dre's really good. Out of the Bay Area? Uh, I mean, I can't get an – he puts out a lot of music. A lot of them are terrible, but I can't get enough Andre Nicotina. I can listen to Andre <laughs> Nicotina all day. One in ten songs is going to be good, but I'll listen to them all. Uh, I would say Mac Dre, 40 would probably be my two. A lot of Vallejo. So, I, shout out Vallejo. I think I would have to go with E-40 just because he's around at all the sporting events all the time, and I don't want to bump into him and offend him. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> Fody Wada, you know? You oh. Fody. I love how he reps the Bay teams uniformly. He goes to A's games in A's gear. He goes to Giants games in Giants gear. I think he even goes to Sharks games. Like, he's just a child of the entire Bay Area and represents it as such. 
And maybe really one of those people that uh, won't get any shit for going to all, like, wearing a Giants or an A's. Like, he doesn't get any flack for that, which oh, I think... Oh, he's got like, immunity. Yeah, he's got immunity for sure. Uh, 100%. I wanted to move on to a fun little game we wanted to play with you, Hunter. Uh, it's called This or That. It's pretty straightforward. I will give you two choices, in one case, three choices, and you will tell me in rapid fire your choice. Don't think too hard about it. Just, like, whatever comes off the top of your head. Uh, nothing too crazy, but interested to see what your answers are for some of these. So right. we'll start off easy. Hot dog or garlic fries? Uh, hot dog. Walk-offs or grand slams? Uh, walk-offs. Comedy or thrillers? Uh, comedy. Too hot or too cold? Too cold for sure. Forest or beach? Beach. Okay, doing the wave. Go for it or no way? Wait, what is it? I didn't hear that one. Oh, I said doing the wave at a game. Okay. Go for it or no way? Uh, no way. That's the right answer. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> no way, yeah. I don't have fun. Let people do what they want to do. That's, yeah. that's oh, right. Anthony, said. what a contrarian you are. Uh, how about Marvel or DC Comics? Uh, I think Marvel. That's also the right answer. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I thought there were no wrong answers, Carmen. Yeah, I think Marvel. That's right. Okay. Tiger King, yay or nay? Uh, yeah, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little wild. Yes, I liked it too. Uh, Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad? Uh, neither. I don't. I haven't watched either. <laughs> okay. What's your TV show of choice then? Uh, I've been watching Ozark. I think it's oh. decent. Yeah, I think it's decent. Uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm not a big TV guy. Okay, you're more of the music, the music guy. Yes, for sure. Okay, what about Sarah Loves, Barry Bonds or Tom Brady? Uh, love, love Bonds, nothing against them, but Tom Brady's uh, near and dear to my heart. I love that guy. So wow, even with the ASU connection? Yeah, I, I, I'm not only am I the biggest Tom Brady fan ever, but I, I got a text from him after I got drafted, and that's probably one of the most special things that, you know, I've ever had happen to me in my life. So keeping up with him has been pretty dang cool. Did you uh, wh that? What, like, did, what did the text – yeah, you just yeah, dropped that so casually. Text? What happened? What was the conversation like? Uh, I – you know, I remember I when I got drafted, like, I had people reach out to me I hadn't heard from in, in a long time. So I had – I want to say – this is not to, to show or anything, but like, I want to say I had over 300 text messages and I, there were so many I hadn't gone through. And I remember a, uh, a Massachusetts number popped up and I was like, hmm. and it said, Hey Hunter, dot, dot, dot. And I click on it and it'd say, Hey Hunter, this is Tom Brady. Congratulations. And I like the guy like dropped my phone. I was so excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it's, it's, it's pretty dang cool to see a guy like that, you know, who, really doesn't have to reach out to anybody uh reach out to me and just show the care uh so you know i've tried to keep up with them here and there and shoot him a, a congratulations text or like i shot him a text congrats on the tampa bay and he got back to me within five minutes and said you know thanks so much hope you're doing well so uh it's 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 the guy's one of a kind so i love barry nothing against them but tom brady's for sure well i would like tom brady oh, awesome. too if he likes me on the bike <laughs> there, so <laughs> Well, I'll give you one more this or that. This is the one with three choices. Giants World Series wins 2010, 2012, or 2014. Oh, did we did we stump him or did it I think freeze? we're on pause. I think we, <laughs> we had to think about this one. Um, well, do you... Tom, Tom Brady texted him. Yeah. No, yeah that's did you what see that face when he just casually was like, oh, yeah, Tom Brady texted him right now? That's that's wild. I mean, I always thought it would be Bonds all the way, but I gotta yeah. imagine if Tom Brady has a personal relationship with you, you will never pick another athlete over Tom Brady. It might be also a generational thing too. Like Tom was, it's a little bit closer in age, yeah. um, and Tom was really good at baseball during his time at Sarah. He was actually uh, drafted out of high school. Um, forget by which major league team, maybe the Braves or something like that. He was drafted out of high school because he was like one of the best, one of the better catchers in the, in the nation. Um, so there's obviously that connection and Hunter also played football at Sarah. So there's that baseball football connection. I know that Barry played those sports too, but it could just be, you know, a little bit closer in age. 
closer yeah, in I, what's going I, on. I know, I know that Tom, not that Barry doesn't, but I just don't know about it. But I know t Tom does a lot for the school too. I remember when I was in high school going to Reardon, Reardon and Sarah in the same uh, conference. Uh, Tom donated the car that he won for a Super Bowl MVP. He donated it to uh, to Sarah, and they raffled it off for for um, for uh, to, for charity as well. I know their football field, I think, is named after after Tom Brady, right, Therese? Yeah. Yeah. So I know he's. he's it's still... not the it's not the field. It's the workout facility that's yeah. on the field. So like the bleachers and the workout facility that's there. And Tom yeah. comes so... with Gazelle, so <laughs> I like her. I think she keeps him in check, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing how many NFL know. quarterbacks I see hey, wearing giant hats. Hey, well snack. <laughs> my, phone over, my phone overheated in Arizona. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and Is that you, why you're you inside? Did, you, did, you did pick too cold. So if, if you had you been too cold, that probably wouldn't have happened. True. That's very true. Well, we're glad to have you back. There's not a Zoom call without technical difficulties, so I feel like that just speaks to the authentic authenticity of this call. But I will, I, I, I thought I stumped you with my last question and you just like couldn't answer, but do you need me to repeat it? Uh, was it after the Tom Brady one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, I didn't hear it. Okay, this is the last one with three choices. Giants World Series wins 2010, 2012, or 2014? Uh, I'm gonna make I'm I'm gonna make the San Jose Giants hitting coach happy and say 2010 because that's when Pat Burrell was on the team. So let's do that. <laughs> that's the bat. That's, that's a smart you move. Go. <laughs> did you did you listen to Alex Pavlovich's latest podcast where it had Pat on it and he was like Hunter was even too young to know the legend of Pat Burrell. <laughs> um, Bellarmine High School was what they were talking about. He was like Hunter wasn't even born when I was in high school. <laughs> Uh, well, what's funny is like when he was with the Giants, I of course knew who Pat Burrell was, but um, then I had heard he was our Giants hitting coach when I got to Earth like this year, and I was like, no way. So I started talking to people and just kind of mentioned him, and they're like, oh boy, Pat is one of a kind. And <laughs> I, I had never like really met him, so then I, I I met him, and honestly, he is one of the best humans ever, and. Uh, I've I've loved being around him. He's uh, he I mean he has great knowledge obviously, but he's just he's a fun guy to be around and great energy. Never never we, you'll, I've never seen him you know down or anything like that. So always smiling, always a good positive role model. So I like nice. him. That's a good choice. You never forget your first, I guess, even though yeah. you're in San Francisco. So I don't think you can go wrong with that choice. Yeah, I, yeah. Hunter, how, honestly, how old were you? In, how uh, old were you in 2010? 2010 I was I think 11. God, uh, you're, God you're we're old but I don't you're I don't we're I, old. this is this is horrible to say but like I don't even remember much of it like I I, I could remember the teams the Royals the Tigers and uh, the, the Rangers I think I don't remember mm -hmm. all okay I, at least I remember that that's well good. you're gonna have plenty of your own trophies in a Giants jersey, there you so go we'll, we'll forget those three there you go Yes, sir. That's right. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking so of coming have, soon, uh, music? Yeah. Can you yeah, talk a little Sunday. bit about that? It's something you like to do when you're not playing baseball, right? Yeah. So, um, like, producing music has always been an interest of me. Um, but I would say that over the last, like, half year or year and a half, I've gotten uh, super into it and started to get better and better and I'm obsessed I don't know if anybody knows who he is but his name's Kygo you know he's uh, like a famous DJ producer um, and I've just become like super okay yeah I super not obsessed but just like um interested in his work and you know how he goes about his um production so like I started watching tons of videos and saw he saw inspiration from Avicii who was you know a, a producer before him uh so it's just it was just kind of cool to see that like it's another hobby I can have especially on the bus or as of now you know in my bedroom or in my studio so um just yeah I mean it's fun song coming out Sunday so I'm pretty excited about that that's awesome should we call you the Bish or Hunter <laughs> uh you, you can just call me Hunter for now <laughs> for now yeah for now for now uh, so we did source some questions from the internet where we wanted to, people to ask the Bish uh, or Hunter. 
you know, your alter ego. Um, so the first one we got was not winning at anything against his brother growing up. Did that help push him and his mentality when he got into organized sports? Did he get old to be dominated day in and day out and asking for a friend? And that friend like Braden Bishop, you know this guy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, here's, you know, I was going to respond, but I figured I'd leave. Uh, I, I'll give him this. He did dominate me a lot growing up just because he was five years older than me. <laughs> but I was going to post my junior year college stats and my home run numbers versus his junior year college stats and his home run numbers. And they're not even, they're not even close. So, uh, until he can hit over 20 home runs in a season, the guy can't talk. So, um, <laughs> I'm, you know, he, he he made the big league, so he, he has that over me. But hopefully I'm there soon, and then he really has nothing over me. I like the flex. Yeah. yeah. Right. I want to see those numbers posted. Clap exactly. back that's, that's right. Uh, Laura on Twitter asks, my kiddo wants to know your favorite baseball drill. Oh, man. Baseball drill. I don't know technically what you call a drill but in professional baseball anymore. Um I guess, like, anything with hitting would be my favorite drill. Uh, I actually do a lot of, like, pre-work up to my, uh, like, the game. So, stuff in the cage, whether I'm, you know, not striding or trying to be quick with my swing. Putting a, I like high tee a lot. Uh, I think that's a pretty common drill for a lot of, a lot of people. Uh, I think it teaches you to be, you know, quick to the ball. And if you can hit the high pitch at a high velocity, I think – you're uh, apt to hit a lot of other pitches. So that's probably my favorite drill. Dave uh, has no questions, but he has no doubt you will be another Giants all-star soon. And he says you're a really great guy. So just some nice feedback from people about you. And Thank then you. a few people on Twitter have a current meme going. Cole was the one that dug this up. So do you eat mac and cheese with a fork or a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think at a restaurant, I eat it with a fork because they don't. Uh, yeah, I think at a restaurant, I'll eat it with a fork. But like if I ever eat mac and cheese at home, I'd eat it with a spoon. <laughs> oh, I saw that yesterday and I like had to think about it because I, I don't like I, I use it often. I thought I, Um, so then we have a few questions of our own. And since you're a Bay Area guy and you went to Sarah High School, not counting Pat Burrell as one of your favorite Giants players, <laughs> who would be your yeah. one favorite Giant or maybe a couple guys that you grew up there, you're like, these are my guys. These are the guys I want to be like. Uh, I'd say my best or my favorite giant growing up was Tim Lincecum. Yeah. Great answer. Great, Great answer. answer. Very popular this. among the shelter on base crew. Yeah, we love him. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think as a kid, I like Little League, I remember trying to copy his wind up. You know, he had that funky wind up. So I'd always try to always try to do that. Um, I loved him and Freddie Santos. Chez was pretty sick too coming Love from the Freddy. pirates i liked him he was he was a good player too yeah he was cool so kind of bouncing off of that i know you went to spring training this year uh who were you most excited to meet who are you really looking forward to meeting in person um you know i've always kind of heard of the legend of evan longoria and <laughs> i really i really i mean i got to meet him it was awesome but um, he's, a, he's a great guy. But I would say the guy who um, stuck out to me the most and had a, uh, I don't know what you, like a lasting impression on me was actually Hunter Pence. Um, yes, we love like, him. You know, it, it really didn't matter that I was, it really didn't, yeah. It really didn't matter that I was a minor leaguer um, or I, that I had just gotten drafted. He sat down with me and at Salt River Fields at Diamondbacks place after he had uh, already got taken out of the game and took the time to talk to me for about 30 minutes about just kind of like the hitting approach and uh, life and like mindset stuff so le definitely left a lasting impression on me and I'm, I'm very thankful for that so it was just because I've been I grew up watching him play too so kind of kind of surreal to sit down and talk with him well just so you know he thinks very highly of you too I told him yesterday we were chatting today and he had a lot of good things to say about you so he felt the same way 
That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's a great dude. Um, so we have a few players on the big league team, Crawford, Dubon, who grew up rooting for the Giants. What was it like when you had that first realization that you were going to be part of the organization you rooted for as a kid? Uh, I think more than like rooting for the team, um, like just growing up in the Bay Area and having that like sense of pride that I think all the Bay Area has for their teams. Um, like just the fact of when I, when it came or I think two months before the draft, I got to sit down with Farhan, who's like the, I think GM and the president, mm -hmm. or I don't know the exact name, but, uh, and Barry Bonds, who we had just kind of talked about. And like that meeting was surreal enough to be like, I'm sitting here with Barry Bonds. Like this is where I'm at in my life at this moment. Um, and then for us, fast forward to draft day, when I got the call that I was going to be a giant, like it was, it was something out of a movie. I didn't really believe it at first. Um, but just seeing that, like how the Bay Area rallied around just me when I got drafted and how excited they were that the, the hometown kid got drafted. It was, it was something, like I said, out of a movie. So really cool. And I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Not just the Bay Area rallied around you. Uh, apparently some guys in New England did too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Giants marketing team, yeah. they've, done a gr they've, they've done a great job. We've had panda hats. Um, we've had, we had the milkmen. We've had giraffe hats. We've had the ring hats. Are we going to see Vatican-style archbishop hats for Hunter <laughs> Bishop when you come up, finally come up to the big leagues? How would you uh, feel about that? Well, I'd love it. I think any anytime you can get some uh, good attention like that, it's, it's awesome. But uh... – yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed to it, for sure. I so think we'll have, you'll be the first person wearing a Bart hat with a we'll bishop have, hat on top of it. Like, Bart, and you're there, and the bishop. Bart yeah, and bishop, the shit. Bart hat, the archbishop, the killer bees. I'm already excited for it, Hunter. I'm already <laughs> excited for, for you and Joey Bart to come up and lead us to our next dynasty. Yes, and sir. Was, hopefully sooner than later. And there was one last question that I just wanted to bring up before we wrap up, like, our Q&A session. Uh, the charity that you and your brother are leading for mom. Yeah. Um, I mean, the background story behind all of it, if you want to dive into a little bit in case people don't know, but when did you and your brother start this and how is the process going? It started from talking in weight rooms now to talking to larger groups of major companies now. Yeah, so I about five and a half years ago, our mom got pretty sick uh, with Alzheimer's when she was, she was really young. It's, it's really rare um, at that age. So me and my brother, you know, just thought that making a difference could, you know, mean something to one person. And then if we could reach one person, they could reach somebody and then it could go from there. So um, he obviously had the platform. I was still in high school at the time. So he got it off the ground running, did an amazing job. Like you said, um, did it we our first four mom event was in a weight room it was like a deadlift competition and then this past spring training before everything got shut down we had our second annual top golf event and i think we had over 300 people i want to say so just seeing the amount of support we've had and um how much it's can, can, gonna continue to grow hopefully and uh like i said if we can just affect one person's life in a positive way and hopefully down the road, find the first survivor, then, you know, we've made a, a positive impact on, on the world. Cause I mean, baseball's a, an amazing game, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really leave you a lasting legacy other than, you know, a few years after you retire. So if we can make a difference in that sense, I think it, it'd be pretty special. So um, it's called four mom. So check it out. And uh, yeah, so going forward, you know, hopefully we keep it growing. And is the website just for for mom dot dot org or what? What where can yeah. you find you? It's uh, for mom dot org. We have um, really good merchandise that people seem to like at Top Golf and uh, some good information and stuff like that on how you can get involved. Um, so get involved and uh, we'll keep it going. Fantastic. Well, thanks for that. That's a great way to end the show this week. Um, everyone, this was our last episode in the month of April. Next one is Friday, the 1st of May, which is the anniversary of the first giant splash hit. I believe it was a Barry Bonds splash hit. 
So we'll come to you with some splash hit content next week. <laughs> Hunter, thanks for joining us. Hey, Shelter on base squad. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it.